All right, hello everybody. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I usually don't make tutorials, but this problem has been driving me crazy as I'm sure it has been for you since you've searched for a solution. Uh, so here's the issue. I have here a folder with a bunch of .mov files. I'll take one of them, drop it in Adobe After Effects, and with the new version of Adobe After Effects, Media Encoder, and Premiere, uh, I get this error message of the source file not having importable streams. Um, so there is a very easy solution for this, which I'm not going to show you here, but I'll tell you really quickly. There's a free program called Handbrake. Uh, there's a link in the description below. You can download it and convert your .mov file to a .h.264, which will work. However, that solution does not work for me since these files have alpha channels and they are lower thirds in graphics and I need them. Um, so H.264 does not give me that alpha channel. So here's the solution I came up with. Uh, most of, uh, first of all, let's look at what's causing the issue. If you see here, uh, some of these MOV files have thumbnails and some don't. The reason for this is they are different formats. If I take this file with the thumbnail here and drag it into After Effects, it will work. And if I just open this up in QuickTime and I hit Control-I, the format is photo JPEG. So that is supported with the new version of Adobe. If I open one without the thumbnail, hit control I, it's JPEG 2000, which is a higher quality of JPEG. I'm not sure why Adobe is not supporting this. I'm sure it has something to do with them not um, being supportive of QuickTime files in general. So, uh, I stumbled on this solution that works with the alpha channel, and that is using another Adobe uh, program, which is Photoshop, and that will support the JPEG 2000 um, uh, format. So let me clear this out. I'll take that same file, which is uh, CNO6 background. I will bring it into Photoshop, and it works. It works, and if you notice here, it's supporting the... Uh, the alpha channel as well. And what I'll do here is I will then use this as sort of a converter and export, um, uh, go to export, file, export, and then render video. Uh, the, this is the, um, these are the settings I use. Keep the name the same. Maybe I'll just put fixed. Uh, select a folder, keep it in that same folder. Um, all these settings are the same as the original file. The one thing to make sure you check is the default here for render options alpha channel is none. I need the alpha channel, so I'll go to straight unmatted and then I'll hit render. All right, now that we are done rendering this out, I will go into the file location and there it is, scene six fixed. Um, I'll open it up and then hit control I and you see there that the format is no longer JPEG 2000. It's uh, an animation which is supported by the updated versions of Adobe. So I will take this, drag it into After Effects and look at that. It works and my alpha channels in there and everything. Um, so that is it. I hope this was helpful. If you have any further questions, leave them below. Um, if this was helpful, let me know that too, and maybe I'll make more video tutorials. All right. Thanks, guys.